So I'm going to show you how I made 2046 pounds online in just one day by using Match Betting. So Match Betting is an excellent way of making risk-free, tax-free cash online as you probably already know. All throughout the year, bookmakers offer out free bets, loads of extra places, free spins in the casino, bonus money in the casino, and much, much more. And by using a betting exchange and or a little bit of basic maths, it's actually possible to put one over on the bookmakers and earn a nice income month after month by taking advantage of all the different online bookmakers. Now this strategy, match betting, is a strategy that makes continuous profit month on month. It's not like sitting back, getting comfortable and sticking on an acker, which includes a few footy teams based on who you're feeling on the day. You know, let's be honest, with that kind of betting, you might get lucky now and again with a big acker win or something like that. But let's be honest, over the weeks and the months and the years of continually betting like that, it's simply going to result in more deposits to your bookmaker accounts than you're going to do in withdrawals back to your bank account. And ultimately, the bookmaker is going to win. So I've always liked the idea of beating the house and learning how to beat the bookmakers and win at their games. So when I first heard about the concept of match betting back in 2019, I felt completely obligated to give it a go and see if I could make some extra money online. Now, if you do want to start match betting yourself and start earning a few hundred quid off the bookmakers every single month, this is the website that I used, not only to learn how to do it, but I use and continue to use this website in order to take advantage of all the tools, the software and the spreadsheets they have in order to make as much profit from my match betting as I possibly can. So I'll leave my link in the video description and you can get started right now if you want to and earn your first 60 odd quid from match betting. So fast forward to March of 2022. By this point, I've become highly experienced with my match betting and highly competent with what I was doing. Now, of course, Cheltenham is a horse racing festival and at this festival, along with other festivals and high profile meetings throughout the year, I'm usually pretty aggressive with my match betting. So that means upping my stakes, using much larger stakes than what I would normally use and using strategies which have a larger edge contained within them because I know this is where the big opportunities lie within the course of the year when you're doing match betting. And when there's a big opportunity and very minimal risk, I want to be putting as much money through that opportunity as possible in order to take out as much money as I possibly can in profits. Now, I've spoken about the strategy that I was using in order to try and make as much money as I could at Cheltenham in other videos, my each way ducting strategy. And ultimately, it involves targeting bookmakers that have overbroke place markets. Now, these races do come around all throughout the year. Now, notably at places like the Cheltenham Festival and Royal Ascot, the opportunity to make a big profit is usually at its largest and the, the, the potential's at its biggest. But these races do come around month after month after month. Granted, they aren't as common and they aren't as profitable as what you would find at, at big, big horse racing festivals. But you generally get a few opportunities each month where you can implement this strategy and you can make a guaranteed profit regardless of whichever horse wins the race that you're targeting and regardless of whichever other horses land within the place positions which are specified by the bookmaker. So on the first race of Cheltenham, I couldn't find an opportunity as it was a four horse race and bookmakers don't offer places or extra places in super short fields. Race two, however, did present me with a nice opportunity. A competitive grade three where Skybet were paying out on an absolutely whopping eight places and Bet365 was paying out on seven. So after entering all of the runners, the prices and the fractional terms into this spreadsheet from OddsMonkey, the spreadsheet provided me with these numbers. The total overall stake that I was willing to use, which was £3,295. The minimum profit I could make, £41.75, if this was the end result, and the maximum profit I could lock in, £499 if this was the end result. So of course I am using a considerable amount of money to do this but I know I'm going to get all of that money back plus a profit on top of that somewhere between £40 and £500. Next up it's time to back each of the runners in the race both win in each way across both my Bet365 and my Sky Bet accounts. This process took around 30 minutes to complete. Now in big markets as everybody knows roughly what the price should be as there's a lot of information on offer the bookies market doesn't seem to jiggle around very often. My starting, minimum and maximum profit remain relatively similar and the whole process was pretty stress-free. As you can see, if we compare the before and after, I actually significantly increased my maximum upside and my worst case result also went from £42 
to £47 of profit. Now I had all this done by about 10am and the scheduled post time for this race was just after 2pm. So this gave me time to smash in a few price boosts, lock in a few small profits from some free bets and in general lock in any nice bit of profit I could across all the different bookmakers and their offers. So fast forward to the conclusion of the race, I sat back down at my desk, I then needed to enter the positions that each horse landed in 1 through 7 in this middle box here in order for the spreadsheet to provide me with my profit. So after checking out the results of the race and entering those results into this spreadsheet within this centre section here, my profit is displayed in this box which was £258. So not a bad start to the first day at Cheltenham and next up it was time to target the next race which I decided was going to be the 1530. Now just before I tell you about that next race, that 1530 on, on the first day at Cheltenham, I'll just let you in on my brand new Patreon page which I've recently set up. And if you're interested in starting Betfair trading and kickstarting your Betfair trading career, which is the next logical step in my opinion, moving on from match betting after you start getting restricted by all the different bookmakers and you want to cut your learning process in half, I'll leave my link to my Patreon page down below in the description and you can get start with your Betfair trading, cut out all the mistakes and the annoying, frustrating things that I had to go through when I was learning my trading. Obviously you get that trading content available to you as well. This race was a short field, 10 runners to be exact, with both Sky and Bet365 only paying out on one extra place and four places in total. So I did the same thing again, that being entering all of the runners, the prices and the fractional terms into the spreadsheet just like I did earlier. This time I need to work out the correct each way stakes to make this minimum profit right here, this dark red negative, into a positive in the worst case scenario. So what I've done in order to work out the correct each way stakes and make lots of these races fully profitable no matter what is I've developed this spreadsheet. Now I use this spreadsheet in conjunction with the Susie Beth each way dutching sheet which is of course available to download on Oddsmonkey. I simply pop all the runners prices into my spreadsheet here select the unit that I want to use. The bigger the number the larger the potential profit but the greater the investment and the greater the outlay. And as if by magic, my spreadsheet informs me of the each way stakes that I should be using on my Dutch. This sheet also shows me whether the race will be profitable if the bookmaker pulls a place and how much of an edge I have dependent on the places that are being paid. Now if you want to get your hands on this spreadsheet, download it and use it yourself to work out the correct each way stakes to put into the Susie Beth each way dutching sheet. It's available on my Patreon page which I have the link to in the video description. I'm also going to look into uploading a full explainer video on the Patreon page along with videos on how you can easily spot profitable each way races and what to look for and stuff like that. So the link is in the description if you do want to get your hands on this sheet and check out some Betfair trading content as well. So after doing that and updating the stakes, this was my minimum and this was my maximum potential profit. I then started to work my way through covering both the win and the each way across the entire field. I used Odds Monkey's extra place matcher to give me an update on the best prices that were available across each of the different bookmakers that I was using. Fast forward a little bit and this was the ending position that I had created for myself. Ultimately, in the worst case scenario, I would essentially break even and I'd get all my money back plus an extra 42p on top of that and my maximum upside was £888.32 which would be predicated on the rank outsider Kashir or Kashire or whatever that says there a 66 to 1 shot pulling off the upset of course this is highly unlikely but anything is possible so it was now time to pour myself a nice cup of tea sit down, relax and watch the race on the TV after the race concluded I could see that Florin Porter was the victor which was ranked 9 out of 10 for me so I certainly wasn't holding my breath for a big profit on this race. Nevertheless I sat back down at my desk and I entered the results that were positioned 1 to 4 in this centre box right here and unfortunately at this time I only made a profit of £14.50. So of course a little bit disappointing but there was no time to get downhearted and feel sorry for myself because I only had about 30 or 35 minutes to reinvest all the cash that I wanted to use back into the next race and hopefully pull out a nice big profit. So moving on to my third each way Dutch, this time we had a 16 runner grade 3. Standard places paid with this type of race is 4 places, but Sky and Bet365 had decided they were going to offer 2 extra places making the total number of places being paid 6 across both platforms. And between Bet365 and Skybet I actually managed to get an overround for my own book of roughly 120%. So at this point I did start to get a little bit excited because I knew with a tight book like this and a competitive grade 3 with both Bet365 and Skybet paying out on two extra places across both of their platforms 
I knew that there was quite a big opportunity to lock in a nice big profit. So I started to go through the process of backing win and each way across all the bookmaker accounts that I had on hand. And I actually got lucky on a few runners where I was able to get a better price with a bookie and with this strategy, a jumping price like this at higher odds really helps bring up your upside pretty drastically. So I covered the whole field. Fancy Foundations wasn't running, so I took it out to my spreadsheet because obviously it's not going to be winning and it's not going to be placing. So after about 20 minutes of work, I guaranteed myself a profit somewhere between these two numbers right here. So with that process being complete, it was time to pour myself my second hot drink and once again, sit back and enjoy the race. So watching the race, it was clear that Cool Cold It was the eventual winner, which triggered a little bit of excitement for me because I knew Cool Cold It had a win rank of six out of 16 for me, so a mid-table finish. And as I was able to get a price of 25 to one with a bookmaker and I backed the runner, 65 quid each way, I knew I was in for quite a significant profit from this each way Dutch. Now my return just from that runner winning the race was £2,080. So my total investment on this across all of my each way bets was a frog's hair shy of £3,000. And remember, this is completely risk free as my worst case scenario would see me locking a profit of about £180. But as an outsider has won the race, I already know that this is going to be at least a few hundred pounds of profit. So I checked my usual website for the place results and then I entered them into this centre section of the spreadsheet to provide me with my overall result from this each way Dutch. And the result was a whopping £1,063 of profit. all of which was achieved in about 20 minutes of work. And you can see that gave me a yield of 35.49% from my total accumulative each way stake, which was £2,995. So of course this was a very large profit. It's actually the largest profit I've made from one of these each way Dutches, but there was no time to sort of sit back, relax and admire my handiwork because I could see that there was one more race that I felt had enough opportunity and enough upside to implement my each way dutching strategy on and hopefully make as much profit as I could from this final race. So the same thing again, I entered all of the runners and their prices into the Susie Beth each way dutching sheet from Odds Monkey's website. The bookies were paying out on a fifth of each of the horses back prices for the place price. So I'd selected a fifth across all of the runners on the sheet as well. And after doing all that, the spreadsheet showed me that my minimum profit was gonna be this and my maximum profit was gonna be this. Now if once you've filled in all of the runners and their prices and the fractional terms and stuff into the spreadsheet, you get a completely guaranteed profit between the minimum profit and the maximum profit it, you really do know that you're onto something quite special. And quite a lot of the time with this, when you're using this spreadsheet, you're actually required to use your own manual stakes as opposed to using the recommended stakes that the spreadsheet has provided you with. Just because of the way the sheet works at the stakes, sometimes it won't give you a guaranteed profit. Whereas if you're doing it manually, you can actually make the profit guaranteed. But I decided to define my own each way stakes that I wanted to use across each runner by using my own each way ducting sheet, which I showed you earlier on in the video, which will give me the biggest opportunity possible to make as much money as I possibly can. So at the starting point of running this each way Dutch, the minimum profit that I could make was £29 and the maximum profit £723. So I started to back the win and the each way across my Sky and Bet365 accounts. Each time a runner was completed, I simply selected yes in the complete section in order to keep track of exactly what was going on. Now I was snapping up the best prices as quickly as I possibly could between all the different bookmakers that I was using and I was using the Odds Monkey extra place matcher in order to identify which bookie had the best price. And again, that free trial link is in the description of this video if you do wanna check it out for free. So I continued working my way through backing each of the horses, both win and each way, until there was only two remaining horses. The first, Omar Moretti, which was now available at eight to one or 9.0 in decimals, which was contrary to when I started doing this when I could have got a price of 10 to one. The other runner, whatever that word says right there, was still available with Bet365 at 40 to one. So I backed it as quickly as I could, selected yes for, for complete on my spreadsheet, and then that left the final runner. So I was sitting on my hands hoping I would get a slight drift on Mr Moretti but that simply wasn't happening and it was getting pretty close to post time and the late money in the last couple of minutes could have had a dramatic impact on the price either drifting or steaming and it could have left me overexposed if it went in the wrong direction. So I decided to bite the bullet and take 8 to 1 or 9 in decimals on this runner and ultimately that cost me a little bit and gave me a very small downside. But a £1.50 gamble for an upside of almost £1,600 is obviously crazy, crazy value and you'd be foolish not to snap that up. So I backed the runner both winning each way and I completed my each way Dutch with about 5 minutes 
left to go until post time. So for the final time of the day, I sat down, relaxed and got ready to watch this race. Come on outsiders. So after watching the race and seeing this runner, an outsider which was priced at 40 to 1, being the winner, the excitement once again started to build as I knew that this was going to be yet another big profit. So for the final time, I opened my spreadsheet, jumped over to the usual website and entered the winner and the runners which were placed into this section of the spreadsheet, which ultimately provided me with a profit of £710. So you can see there, £3,675 was invested on my side and a total return of £4,385.50 was provided from the bookmakers, which provided me with a yield of about 20% of my cumulative each way stake. Now using this strategy is one of my preferred strategies in match betting and it's my favourite strategy when it comes to horse racing markets. But the Bet365 Tour Profit is perhaps my favourite strategy when it comes to football and if you want to learn exactly how to do that in a step-by-step -step process and start locking in some guaranteed cash from football matches every single month, check out this video that I've just popped up on screen and that will show you exactly how you can get started with that right now.